Biden, President Biden, needs to wake up. The U.S. is now in great danger. You must restart the Keystone Pipeline now and encourage oil companies to build up new reserves. If the current trend in the U.S. continues, roughly 54% of U.S. oil needs will have to be imported by 25. When he shut down the drilling and he shut down Keystone, he made the U.S. totally vulnerable. And that is unacceptable. So get these things started. We're declaring that he needs to give $5 billion to restart Keystone to the company. Not doing so will see oil move over $150 a barrel this year. Probably see gasoline around two and a quarter a liter. It will cause a worldwide depression. Because no economy can handle that price on, on gasoline at all. Then, World War III, which will destroy Biden and the United States will start. If the farmers can't afford to buy fuel to run the tractors, who's going to volunteer to be a horse and, and pull the plow behind them for the farmers? It's estimated that with the war in Ukraine and what Biden has done, it will send food prices up by 250 to 300 percent by 25, by January of 25. And what Biden says, well, we can rely on our enemies for mercy and kindness and to supply us oil. Well, that they will be fair. They will be submissive and, you know, what type of insanity is that? When your enemy has you in the crosshairs of the gun because they know they can break you, they break you. You've got to deal with them from strength, not from stupidity. It has never happened in history when they all know that you have a very, very weak hand, which the president has by shutting the stuff down, made the U.S. totally vulnerable, and Canada too. Your enemies attack when they know you're weak. That's why Ukraine's under attack. The U.S. must return to be a strong oil exporter or become the victim of war. There's no if, ands, or ors on the matter. It will happen. The shutting down of the Keystone told Putin that you would kiss his ass rather than defend America or defend your, your friends. And he's moving on that. The Arabs took note of it also. 
They know that they have the power to send the United States and Europe to their knees, begging. And that day comes very fast. And if the Keystone XL uh, line is not restarted, now it is treason for the president. He's committed treason. And needs to be impeached. However, we bless President Biden with the wisdom to move now and save America and not become a, the traitor who practiced genocide in destroying the United States. The world needs a strong United States right now.